and welcome to the Alexander Show. Today, I have actor Paris Bravo, who's going to be on the show to discuss her movie, Christmas vs. the Wall Street. So, without further ado, Alexis, and Ryan Spencer. Running the Alexander Show. Hi, Paris. Welcome to the Alexander Show. Hi. Uh, your movie, Christmas Bust of the Walkers, was a holiday hit. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like working on set, and uh, what was the challenges that you faced through that? Ooh, um, it was incredible working on set. Uh, during the pandemic, it was obviously kind of weird, because, you know, you don't get to see every everyone with uh, the full face um, <laughs> until we actually get on set and go to film. But um, I think it was really amazing. I was very lucky to be chosen. Um, to fly out to New York, and everyone open, uh, welcomed me with open arms, and it was very sweet. I got to work with many legends, and I, um, they treated me like a daughter. For real, we were actually a family, even though we were playing a family, but um, I think the challenge for me, I had finals. Oh. I had school finals um, when I was filming, so having to balance w school and working, um, was definitely a challenge for me. I passed, which is good. <laughs> yeah. um, but other than that, I think um, I definitely missed home a lot. I miss my little doggy Stormy. I know my dad's going to get mad at me for not saying him first. <laughs> but I miss my dad too. But yeah, I miss family and school was definitely a challenge. Uh, can you tell us about your character in, in the movie? Yes. Abby. Abby Walters. Um, she is a Drunk, rebel, crazy girl trying to <laughs> balance home life and being with dogs and being with boys and all that jazz. Um, <laughs> but I think she's really trying to um, figure out life for herself rather than just with her parents. Um, but in the end, she realizes that um, family is important. And no matter what, at the end of the day, um, even if we're a crazy family, um, she still figures out and finds her way back to, you know, being the daughter of um, Diane and Brian, which is Johnny. Uh, so you do do your own stunts in movies and films and things. Is that something you always dream to do, or did you just in general want to go into a martial arts sort of STEM? Oh, yes, for sure. I Being in martial arts uh, since my young age, it, it will always be with me. Um, I've always dreamed of doing stunts in um, future projects like Angelina Jolie. She does most of her own stunts, um, and she's such a powerful woman, and let alone like doing their own stunts in movies. Um, it saves money. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it um, will save time as well, because, you know, under time constraints on set is stressful. Um, right. So not having to bring in the stunt double for something that you may be able to do for a little bit. Right, it's efficient. <laughs> yeah, it's very right. efficient. It's interesting that you say that people save money on set and it's efficient right. because yeah. I was also in a movie where we had to do stunts. It's very cool. And um, I learned that you have, like, it's like kind of like dance choreography. Yes. Where you have to you have to know a certain distance between you and the other person when mm -hmm. either fighting them or punching them or doing whatever. Right. Uh, so that they don't obviously get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I was just wondering, if, if you were in a Marvel film, what Marvel film would you choose to be in? Ooh. And um, what Marvel character would you choose to be to do all of those stunts and all of those punches and scenes like that? Ooh. I've really anything that they would want me to do. <laughs> they would just call me hey, be in this Marvel movie. I'm like, okay. Um, if it's bigger or smaller role or character, I honestly don't care. Like, being in Marvel would just be a dream. Okay, so this next part of the show is called Quick Fire Facts. I'm going to ask you a series of quick fire questions that mm -hmm. you'll have to answer on the fly as fast as possible. Boom. Yes. Awesome. Okay, ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to begin anyway. Awesome. Pizza or pasta? Pasta. <laughs> pizza or uh, pasta? I feel like you could do more with pe pas pasta. Okay. So I'd pasta. <laughs> Favorite ice cream? Uh, mint chocolate chip. DC or Marvel? Mm, 
hurt. <laughs> Favorite Spider-Man, Toby Andrew or Tom? That hurts. Um, Tom. He's really cool. Okay. He's really, really cool. Final question. Favorite way to eat broccoli? Not eat it at all. Why? You're welcome. <laughs> it's uh, not good. Not, not creamy broccoli no. pasta? No? Nothing, nothing. Nothing at all. No broccoli. I personally don't like cauliflower. No. No, okay. no veggies. No, no, no Brussels veggies. Brussels sprouts, do you like Brussels sprouts? No. Good. It smells like a <laughs> <thing. laughs> I always thought of them like mini cabbage yeah. things. Yeah, yeah they look like brains. We'll be right back with the rest of the show, so stay tuned. Ooh. Stay tuned for more of The Alexander Show. Hello and welcome back to The Alexander Show. You're back on the show to a show that's very exciting to get a little feedback. We have a few second meetings with some of our members. And we're going to be trying to figure out what each other are saying and looking at the questions and trying to talk to them to other parents. You have a chance to talk to the guests. Oh. 
Closing the Alexander Show. 